Welcome back. Just about 525 and News 5 viewers continue to reach out to us about the challenges they're facing when it comes to finding a place to live. All right now, Patrick Nelson is looking into even how the most popular platforms for home listings is trying to manage constant attacks from fraudsters looking to take advantage of you when you're looking for a place to live. Recently, we've reported on the impact of both fake and imposter home listings where photos are stolen and reposted in public marketplaces, all in an effort to get people to pay deposits for homes these imposters don't actually have anything to do with. One News 5 viewer says even on popular websites, sometimes the listings require more investigation. There's a thousand homes available. I just want one. <laughs> But I can't, I can't get, I can't seem to get anything settled and so I'm still looking for a place. Josephine Gifford says it's now been four months that her search has come up empty. All she wants is to live a little closer to her new job. I'm in between houses. I'm working in Denver now, but I, my house is in Pueblo. Real estate experts say Zillow is one of the most popular websites for home listings. And Josephine says she's been making monthly payments to have the online platform help her with her search. But in some cases, she says the listings she's seen aren't exactly what they appear to be. She went out to one of the properties and got some discouraging news. And there were construction workers there. So we got out and looked and I asked one of the gentlemen, you know, is the house for rent? And he was like, no, the house is not for rent. Are you working for, you know, he said he's working for the owners that live in the house. It seemed like they had had other visitors there too, besides myself. I reached out to Zillow about these concerns and the company sent me a statement that reads in part, quote, we go to great lengths to prevent fraud and other inappropriate content from appearing on our apps and sites. We also work to inform consumers about how to avoid bad actors in the housing market, end quote. I'm also told the platform has staff working to monitor postings and it even uses artificial intelligence to help detect problems. But at the end of the day, it's important that users take the time to report suspicious listings they do come across to help have them removed. Meanwhile, Josephine understands she's not alone in this tough situation, facing the ongoing struggles in finding a place to live. Their money's being taken and we still don't have somewhere to live. So that's very frustrating. Take a look at this. Zillow is providing these resources to try to help consumers deal with the threats from fraudsters when it comes to home listings. It has not one, but two different pages to try to help users identify and avoid scams and fraud. One of these pages, you can even find examples of fraudulent emails sent to Zillow users so you know what to look for. I posted all of this information on our website so you can take a closer look. I'm Patrick Nelson for News 5.